Hayden Hill. Get your head out of the clouds. And make your dreams a reality. Let's find you the perfect new home. But I have to sell my house first. How do I sell my house and buy one at the same time? I need an agent. How do I pick an agent? Who do I know? Who do I know who's an agent and how do I know if they're actually good? What, what questions, questions do I ask an agent? Are you scared your realtor might drop the ball? We scramble the competition. When interviewing an agent, the seller usually has three, three goals. goals. To sell the house for the most money possible. Sell the house according to the current owner's timeline. And to sell the house with the least amount of inconvenience. And may I also add that sellers do not want to receive any pressure from their agent. It is their money. The realtor's job is to act as an agent, agent for, for their the seller. seller. On, On a, a listing, listing appointment, appointment, we are invited to present market analysis and advise our clients according to market trends based on the charts and graphs that we are able to generate through our MLS provider and our experience. We provide our clients with this in order that they'll be able to make the best decisions for their family. There's five questions that any realtor that you work with should be able to answer. They should be able to tell you what the average time on market is for homes in your neighborhood. How long does it take for a house to sell in your area on average? We understand that price is a factor, but what other strategies will your agent use to generate multiple bids? Does your agent's comparative market analysis have price adjustments? Or is it a computer-generated approximation like, like Zestimates? We are licensed for precision pricing. We won't leave money on the table. And if the house doesn't sell as fast as planned, number five, how will your agent adjust the marketing plan besides just dropping the price? Hayden Hill.